Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on comics and toys and today we're looking at neither of them, we're looking at Halloween, Ghostbusters, food, items and other things and there seems to be a bit of resurgence of Ghostbusters at the moment it's probably to do with the new Ghostbusters reboot film that's coming out and I do not like the looks of that I don't see the point in that at all to be quite honest but I reckon if you want to carry on with Ghostbusters my personal um, view, you're not probably interested but I really enjoyed the Xbox game and I really enjoy the comics that are out now from IDW so not really bothered about the film that's coming out but it has led to some new Ghostbuster items that are out for Halloween so the first one that I found, I found these in random shops and pound shops and sweet shops is the Ghostbusters popping candy and this is basically old space dust that used to be around in the 70s if you remember that and you get a packet of uh, one with slime on the front and you get one with the Ghostbuster logo I'm not going to open these because I'm a silly collector so there we go so, uh, slime is apple flavour and the ghost is strawberry flavour and on the back it has got all the ingredients that you can fizz up in your stomach with it's quite a nice picture of Slimer but that's that one next of all we've got Mr. Stay Puffed Marshmallows and I always wondered in the film um, when Ray thought about Mr. Stay Puffed what product he would be sold in and I imagine it would probably be these so I picked these up from the pound shop and I've, I've had a pack of each opened and I've kept a pack to see how rotten they go but yeah, these are really nice actually, and a uh, really nice packaging. I really like Mr. Say Puffed on the front. Uh, just got the logo on the back. And then the next ones, these are the mini ones. I'm still working my way for eating these. These are quite hard work, but uh, I prefer the other cover, but these are quite good. So, pound for these as well. And there he is on the back of a spoon saying, Devour my body. So that's the Ghostbusters Mr. Stay Puff Marshmallows. Then next we have the Mr. Stay Puffed spread and this looks absolutely vile and I can't decide if to open this and empty it out or leave it. And there's the Ghostbuster logo in green there. That's strange for vegans. So. But yeah, I found this in a traditional sweet shop I think. I don't know what the name of the place is just open up basically expensive and uh, yeah so marshmallow spread but it's got Mr Stay Puff so I had to buy it so that's the spread next up we've got the Ghostbusters energy drink and there's two I got these in Forbidden Planet and let's look at the first one so that is it's got the three Ghostbusters hasn't got Winston tut tut I was hoping they leave Winston out but Really nice package on these. Um, I'm not going to open them up, so I'm sure they're going to explode at some point. So I'm going to have to put them somewhere where they don't cover something in all the ecto goo. But yeah, it's quite good. And then the other one is Slimer. And these were, I think, about £2.50 or something. But they were the last two cans on the desk, so I had to get them. So that's those. Next we've got this annoying Mr. Stay Puff key ring thing and you've probably seen these around. I had them in the comic shop I'll, start, uh, I'll get my stuff from but I found this in a bookshop and I'll press his stomach once. Yeah. Hey man! So yeah, that's the Mr. Stay Puff key ring. He's, he's kind of cool. He's quite he's very cuddly and he's got cheeky chops there so I picked him up for about I think it's about £2.50 or something so another Ghostbuster item next we have Slimer's slime filled bubblegum and I picked these up in a news agents just on the off chance I went into and found them 30p and I'm not going to open these they look disgusting but you've got the uh, three green two white and you've got a Ghostbusters logo on actually it's quite cool she done quite good yeah I thought it was really nice actually really nice packaging but uh, there we are it's a Slimer bubblegum 
Next, I found these Ghostbuster chocolate discs, and it's got the logo on, it's got a black one, it's got who you're going to call. So, I thought these were quite cool. Not going to open these either, so just going to leave them to rot. But they're done really well, actually, really nice quality. So, double sided as well, so that's good. And then in the same and then in the same and then in the same packaging the net is the slimer ones and it's got two or three different faces on him if you can see there but yeah another chocolatey things but um I'm not gonna open these either I'm gonna keep these as they are so they're gonna go nice and rotten so there's those and last but not least we have Ghostbuster lollies that I found and these don't look very good but I got them so we've got the Ghostbuster logo there absolutely covered in sugar doesn't look very good that's that one and then we have Slimer covered in sugar I'm sure he'd eat himself if he could and he looks really pissed off that he's got a lollip lollipop stick stuck right up his ass, But he doesn't really look much like Slimer. And then the last one is Mr. Sapuff. And he looks absolutely ecstatic that he has a lollipop stick stuck right up his ass. I went for the most googly-eyed one I could find. And this was the winner. So here's Mr. Stay Puffed very very strange but kind of funny so yeah I'm not gonna eat these I should I suppose I should have brought another one to eat but that is it so quite a good haul of Ghostbuster stuff this year hopefully they'll bring out some more items and I'll probably spend my money on them because I'm a mug but if you're a Ghostbuster fan it's quite a good time to be back into Ghostbusters because there seems to be a, uh, a lot of stuff coming out for it so cool so hope you enjoyed this video a bit different and i will see you soon for some other items that i've picked up bye bye